First kick. 1969. BSA Thunderbolt. I don't know if this is a one up, four down, three down, or a... Nope, it's a one down. I think it's a one down, three up. Let's see what I can do here. Hot rod. My favorite kind of bike. Oh yes. I like it. Let's do a little lap around town. Right side shifter. I'm being a little uh, careful here. Like I said, 1969, beautiful looking bike. Thunderbolt says so right there. Drum brakes, front and rear. Four speed transmission. Looks like we had some rain over here. <laughs> uh, I was trying to spin in some gravel here. Oh wow, they got new uh, pavement down. Well, we better be careful about that. This is all new rock. Yeah, you can't shift on the left side with these. Boy, you gotta be careful here with this stuff. <laughs> it's a drum brake on the front, so you really gotta watch it. What a nice machine. Very interesting things to ride, you know, these antique bikes, vintage bikes. Let's see, 69, that would make this, what, 55 years old? It's 2004 right now. Let's take a look in the window here. It's a very narrow bike, Very, it feels very uh, light. Check it out. Look at that thing, huh? Can I flat foot? Well, yes I can. Drum brake on the front. Drum on the rear, of course. Look at those beautiful pea shooter pipes. We'll, uh, we'll go somewhere and look at this in a bit. <laughs> what a grin! A little bit of road art right here. I love this thing. My favorite kind of bike to ride, old. <laughs> Over yonder is Bigfoot Hill. There's a couple of three Bigfoot on top over that house, behind that house. If you ever make your way to Marnie, make sure you check that out. Shifts very well. The motor pulls excellent. Seems to be, you know, it's in, in very tight shape, I would say. Handling is good. Very light, crisp handling. Beautiful thing, just a beautiful thing. Is that a Smith gauge? I'm not sure. Yes, it says Smith's on it. Look at this, huh? Gravel on the road right there. It's got a narrow friction zone on the clutch, but it's not bad. It's a lot better than that triple we ran the other day. That tri triple we ran, 75. Boy, this thing sounds good, doesn't it? Very nice. Kickstart only, of course. Transmission goes in and out of gear very well. Let's take it down the road. We'll make a little bit of noise. Single carburetor engine. I think it's a concentric Amal. I always think those run better for some reason, at least in the low and mid range. Okay, that's probably fourth gear right there. <laughs> By modern standards, this is a shaker. <laughs> oh yes, a beautiful thing for sure. I love that brake chrome uh, headlight up front, that big chrome bucket on the headlight. It just turns so, look at that, it just turns like a dream. Very nice. I think that's second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear, I believe. Nope, nope, that was third. We're in fourth now. Beautiful thing. 
I just love riding these things. Have I said that already? <laughs> you know, the engines on these are different from the other British bikes and that the uh, push rods go through the middle of the engine. There's no external push rod tubes. Let's get over here to the mighty mini Tropolis of Marnie, home of Baxter Cycle, seller of new and used Royal Enfields, Triumphs, classic British bikes like this one that we're sitting on right now, parts, accessories, thingamajigs, doodads, apparel, gloves, Boots, you name it, they got it, by golly. Get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty Metropolis of Marnia, Iowa. We're gonna do the spin test. Or go to baxtercycle.com. Make sure you tell those fine folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Look, look at this. Oh, we got traffic. <laughs> Fuzzy Biker sent you. <laughs> Next time you get yourself to Marnie, make sure you stop here at the Derailed Grill. Try one of their Wahoo Burgers, by golly. Pulls very nice. I like this a lot. I love the, uh, I love the bench seat. <laughs> a very interesting handling bike. It's kind of rakey, but yet it handles well. It's so light. I think I found an extra neutral. What a machine, what a machine. I'm loving it. I do not want to go back. Uh, let's see what kind of a brake we got. It's a dual leading shoe, front brake. We'll just go out here a little ways, just enough to have some fun. I love the way these British bikes sit. The closest thing in a modern bike that uh, rides like a old British bike is probably a Royal Enfield Interceptor. Maybe a Continental GT. Of course, those are much smoother. I'm not sure what kind of power this motorcycle would have. I would guess in the low 40s, maybe. I guess we're in fourth gear already. <laughs> All right, we're gonna spin around here. I think that is first gear, nobody behind us. Check it out, huh? It just spins like a dream. Wahoo! Love it. That, my friends, is the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. A town that would fit in a postage stamp. <laughs> Between 100 and 160 people in that town, depending on the time of day. And of course, it is home of Baxter Cycle. To get the Baxter Cycle, you get an Interstate 80, go to exit 51, and then head south on this pavement for three miles. Just stay on this pavement. You'll come around this little curve right here. And I call this Vintage Bike Road right here. That's my name for it. And there it is on the left, Baxter Cycle. Wahoo. <laughs> this, thing's a, this thing's a hoot to ride, a hoot to ride. Okay, my friends, I think we will go park this thing. I'll get the other camera out. We'll do a quick walk around. Check out what we got out here. The camping interceptor, a couple of nifty uh, 350s. One is a uh, classic 350 that's been uh, given the works for uh, the engine performance. The other one is a Meteor. The green one right there I took out for a run yesterday. Uh, maybe that's not the same one. And over here is a bike we call the Badger right there. Isn't that neat? All right, my friends, I will park this, get the other camera out, and we will do a quick walk around. Wahoo! Hey, we have made it back to Baxter Cycle over here. Check this out right out. But that's not what we're here to look at today. That's called the Badger, by the way. This is the one we want to look at. I just took this thing out for a nifty little spin. Loads of fun. 1969 BSA Thunderbolt 650. Check that out. This is a cover over the oil tank. It's a dry sump engine. There is the oil tank. Single Amal, car Amal carburetor, concentric. This is the uh, gas. Here shut off, the other side is reserve. It's got a two cylinder parallel twin air cooled engine, of course. Love that, love that. Uh, the interesting thing about this engine is that there's no external push rods. They're actually on the center. I saw the mechanic taking this apart one day for one like this. I also love how this looks so air streamed. You know, a real teardrop. Kickstart only, four speed, one down, three up. Beautiful bike, isn't it? Chrome tank, look at that little badge. Just a gorgeous thing. 
gorgeous thing. Open the tank, you do that. It says Thunderbolt right there. To get the tank off, you pop this plug out. There's a little bolt through there. Thing will come right off. Air filter back here. Running back this way. Speedo drive. Check out those pipes. Not those pipes. Look at the whole bike. Just a gorgeous thing. Chrome vendors, chrome tank, chrome pipes. Just loads of good stuff. I love the uh, new leading shoe brake with the intake. Exit right over here. Spoke wheels, of course. Chrome headlight bucket. Just a real thing of beauty. Check that out. Again, more of that Airstream, you know, very smooth service is a little warm right now. <laughs> Mechanical brake, of course. I'm not sure where the electronics are. It must be up here somewhere behind my fingers for the uh, tail light. Tubular swing arm, adjuster on the rear, dual shock rear end. Let's check out that seat, isn't that neat? Very nice. These are my Royal Enfield gloves. I love these gloves, that's why I put them there for you all to see. What a wonderful machine. Absolute hoot riding it. Okay, let's jump up here and take a look. I don't know what all the doodads up here do. I'm gonna guess maybe high lows. <laughs> that's a horn. Smith gauge, I'm gonna tell you there's a guy down the road here. I'll put his website above right now. He can do anything to these gauges. He can rebuild them. He can put new faces on them, new glass. He has a machine to recrimp them, you know, the whole bit. I mean, he's quite the... Anyway, get hold of him if you need his help. This is a Lucas gauge here, ammeter. I think this is the headlight switch. So daylight, daytime running and then on. This is, I think, uh, oil light right here. Not sure what that is. Maybe a high-low for the lights. Choke, of course. Wonderful barrel grips. You know, single, single uh, cable for the... Uh, carburetor. This is back before they had the pull push set up. Clutch on this side of course, adjuster right there. Huh, that's interesting. A little detent in there. I suppose you do full turns or half turns I guess. But just check this out. Isn't that neat? The boots of course. I'm gonna have to figure out what size the uh, forks are on these old, bi old bikes. But uh, this is a hubcap right here. All those brake fins right there. Ha! We got them warm. <laughs> we did good. We got them warm. Gorgeous machine. Gorgeous machine. Hey, if y'all are interested in something like this and you're used, Royal Enfield Triumph Classic British bike like this, need parts, accessories, Sigma jigs, doodads, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle and the Mighty Mini Tropolis of Marnie. They are the largest British bike, vintage British bike parts supplier in North America. Say that three times fast. <laughs> or go to BaxterCycle.com. Thanks to all those good folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, as I always say, it's a beautiful day. Check it out. Clouds, blue sky. I'm going to go bike riding. You'll do the same if you can. Life is good. Wahoo! Yippee-yay-yay! Yippee-yay-yo! Down the road we go! Beautiful, beautiful machine! Hot dang.